you want to begin tonight with an all out blitz by the legislature to change everything from how Colorado handles health care to marijuana to styrofoam and plastic bags. Some bills like one involving arrests were killed. Others, including a surprising one we'll talk about later, squeaked through. Covering them all is Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez, who joins us live. Yeah, guys, dozens of bills were debated in these final few hours today. Dozens passed, a few failed. Uh, the legislature, it looked like they were going to wrap up really early today. The Senate, however, kind of had a little bit of a slowdown with one of the bills when it dealt with uh, voter transparency on ballot measures. So the majority and the minority went into the Senate president's office, hashed it out, came out with some amendments, got those passed. Now it's the House that's the holdup, and they're kind of discussing right now the greenhouse gas bill that we told you about yesterday that combined two different bills. Still, a lot was accomplished today. Representative yes. Tipper votes yes. On the last day of the legislative session, things move at a different pace. Repass as amended. A little bit of fun, inevitably Thank some you, shenanigans. Speaker. Members, I know this may be very foul to you. <laughs> and quick work of bills as the regular rules are suspended. I think this is one of the most historic sessions I have been a part of, one of the most productive. We added uh, more information for- In the final hours, Democratic leaders were able to pass a police reform bill to end qualified immunity for state patrol, a bill to limit insulin prices, a property tax reduction bill, a bill to add fees onto single-use plastics, misdemeanor reforms, and more. Last year, history made us. This year, we made history. We prioritized COVID relief. Some of the most contentious bills left on the calendar were either killed or faced significant last minute rewrites. The jail reform bill to change who was arrested and what type of bond they're offered was killed in committee after two Democrats joined Republicans to vote against it. So was a bill to change the rules around workplace harassment. And they get pushed to the end of session because they're really not ready. Meanwhile, the major reforms to the Sex Offender Management Board were completely scrapped and a bill to simply keep the board around for another two years passed. When you look at what didn't compare to what did, I think what's amazing is um, the long list of accomplishments. For Democrats, this session was productive. We said we were going to do all those things, and now on the last day of session, um, I am very proud to say that we are going to do all of those things and more. Please close the machine. Republicans saw the session in a very different light. I think what we'll end up with is a lot of tough times, a lot of tough times for families in Colorado. We've, we've got new fees and charges. But both found a way to work together on bipartisan bills, too, for federal and state stimulus money to help Colorado recover. And both are happy the session is finally over. It's like the longest session ever. So back to that greenhouse gas and environmental justice bill that's still being debated as we speak right in the House. There were some changes that happened yesterday that we told you about some amendments in order to combine those two bills. It made its way over to the House today and now what we're hearing from Republicans is that they simply have not had enough time to be able to review that bill and that it's too impactful to simply vote on without having the chance to read it. They tried to get it moved back into committees. They tried to say that they want to look over the uh, the fiscal note of it saying that it's significantly larger than what they had originally agreed to but so far all of their different attempts Attempts at amendments and delaying this bill have failed. And tick tock, tick tock. All right, Megan, thank you.